Jessica! <sighs> Ashley. Are you okay? I think so. But I'm dizzy. Everything is foggy. I'm so sorry I let you go alone. It was selfish. This is all my fault. Are you hurt? No, I'm okay. I'm so glad you're safe. <sighs> Handcuffs? No good. Thanks. I found them outside. I was so worried about you. Everything suddenly went dark. I must have been knocked out. When I came to, I was handcuffed to this beam. That's horrible. Who would do something like that? Bill. Bill really do something like this? Well, actually, no, that tracks. <laughs> well, at least from what Richard told us. And I'm gonna put Richard in quotes right now, because I don't know if that's him. Maybe it is. I don't know. We'll find out. I got a feeling, though. Anyway. Bill did this? You know about him? Dad told me. You met your father? Yeah. He told me a little. He was my assistant and is absolutely brilliant. But he betrayed me. He tried to steal the research we did on this island. Bill tried to steal another? You knew Bill, too? I did. He used to work with Richard. I never expected him to turn up here. I ran into him right after I left you. He said that he'd take me to Richard. I shouldn't have trusted him. He knocked me out somehow once we got to the mansion. I had no idea. But wait, Dad said he caught Bill. Regardless, I'm so glad you finally met Richard. Yeah, I found him. I asked him about another, and about Mom. He told you what happened? Yeah, we talked about it. So about dad. So that's my dad, huh? What do you mean? Where is he? I was with him earlier. But he went off to do something else. Do something else? He left you alone? Yeah. He said he had to go start another. Jessica. About dad, he... He definitely cares way more about his research than us. That's not... He said so. He told me he has to finish another. For Mom. Richard said that. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So Bill's trying to steal this another program, huh? Did you know about another? Not really. Your father mentioned it a few times. Something about using it to save people from painful memories. Yeah, he told me that too. He said Bill stole the keys he needs to start it. So, we split up. I went looking for the keys while he looked for you. 
But he clearly didn't find you. Ashley. So about Sayoko. I found a newspaper article about what happened to mom. It said, it said dad was a suspect. I, you know the dream I always have? It's about the night mom was murdered. Oh, Ashley. That's why, isn't it? That's why you never talked about mom, or another. <sighs> You're right. So Richard was a suspect in Sayoko's murder. What can you tell me about this? Why was Dad a suspect? Listen to me. Richard found Sayoko that night. And because he was at the scene of the crime, he was a suspect. Right. He kept telling them he was innocent. With no other evidence, they released him. They couldn't find another lead. So the case went unsolved. The false accusations devastated Richard. I confronted him as soon as he was released from custody. I asked outright if he killed Sayoko. He looked me right in the eyes and answered without a hint of guilt. He said, absolutely not. Mm. He told me that too, that he didn't kill her. But... What is it? He didn't look me in the eyes. It's hard to trust someone who acts like that. Oh, sweetheart. I'm just over all this. He isn't my dad. Can't we both just leave here together? I'll get those cuffs off you as soon as I can. There's got to be something I can use around here. Ashley, wait. Please give Richard one more chance. He can help. Why should I? At the very least, he can get me out of these handcuffs. But what about you? I can't leave you here. I just found you. I'll be fine. Now go. N no, I don't trust. I do. Please, Ashley. Believe in him. He's my older brother, and your father, okay? But I... Ugh. Okay. And once we get out of here, we'll go home. The three of us. Yeah. You'll be safe here, right? I'll be right back with Dad. Yes, I'll be fine. Sayoko, protect her. Please. I'm so glad you found Jessica. Me too, but I don't think she could see you. She's an adult. I'm used to it by now. I guess. More importantly, we can't let our guard down. You're right. I can't believe Bill did that to Jessica. But I'll worry about it later. We need to find my dad. Where could he have gone? I think he was heading toward the courtyard. Alright, let's go find Richard. First... That's right. So this one is on the second floor of the courtyard. Real 
quick, I just want to see, is there an, I don't think there is, but I might as well check. Wait, connecting passageway? Hold on. Oh yeah. That was going from the foyer to the courtyard, right? Oh, okay, it's making me go there. Okay. Understandable. Have a nice day. Right, to the courtyard. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I'd go in here, right? No good. It's locked. Ashley, look. There's a ladder on the other side of the door. You're right. Where do you think it leads? That's the door to my great-grandfather's room. find a way to that. Do we go up to that connecting passageway now? Was I just ahead of the curve? Yep. Looks like it. Okay, so... Is it in... Is the crane in this area? Or is it going to be... And the next one. I think it's in the next one. Oh. I guess we're going to get another key later? Well, actually, I guess we'll see if we can open it. Well, where does this lead? East? Okay. Where are we on the map? Okay, it's not there yet. Door's locked. How can we open it? This design. The other room's doors had one bird, but this one has two. Yeah, two birds holding a silver and gold clover in their beaks. Maybe the key to this room is... Alright, let's try to combine these two keys then. What was it? The two sprout keys. So that sprout key and then the second sprout key. Yes! The two keys combined into one. Got four leaf clover key. Alright, let's use this on the door. Yes! Alright, it opened! Check out the view. Where's the ladder? Shouldn't it lead to this room? What's wrong, D? This is my great grandfather, Uncle Henry, and my father. Grandfather, do you know who I am? I remember. My father brought me here. 
My great-grandfather was asleep in the bed. He was sleeping so peacefully. But as we got closer, he opened his eyes and looked at us. He smiled, but it was sad. Father took his hand and squeezed it. He was crying. That was the first time I ever saw him cry. Oh, Dee. We have to track down your dad. Yeah. Where's the ladder we can take back down? So it looks like we're going to have to solve, try to find another puzzle. Oh, I specifically remember this uh, zoetrope from the original. I don't remember what we used it for. I know, um, I remember light passes through it. That's the one thing I remember. Oh, hey, here it is. Quick. Pressing the wrong buttons. All right. Time to read this note, this message. Edward, the musician. Lawrence had one child, a son named Leonard. Lawrence tried to establish him as a successor, but whether due to a difference in values or something else entirely, Leonard refused to take over the family business. Instead, he chose to leave home and pursue a career as a musician. There was no word on Leonard's whereabouts for a long time. Then, one day, he sent his father a letter, telling him that he married a woman he met in a bar. Lawrence resented the fact that he had not approved of the marriage, so he refused to see his son. They lost touch again after this. Several years passed, and Lawrence received another letter from Leonard. He had two sons by then, Henry and Thomas. Although Lawrence finally agreed to see his son, it was too late. Leonard became sick during an epidemic and passed away at age 30. A thought occurred to me as I learned of these two and how they couldn't connect with one another. In order for a child to understand the motivations of a parent who loses themselves in their work, it may be necessary for the child to grow up and become a parent themselves. I wonder if my father thought about Jessica and me as he worked, the same way Ashley occupies my thoughts as I continue my work on another. memories tied to this bed? <laughs> Whoa, this bed looks fit for a princess. How luxurious. I've only seen beds this fancy in picture books and on TV. There's a small cabinet by the bed. Hey. Wells told me that there's something great-grandfather cherished in this drawer. Oh. oh, wow, you were right. There's something in there. To my beloved father, I ask that you find it in yourself to forgive me for turning my back on the life you had hoped for me and choosing the life of a musician. I left home without so much as a word to you and was confronted with the cruelties of the world. However, I'm happy that I chose this path for myself. I married and became the father of two children. And now I hope there will be a day when I can return home and speak with you. Leonard Edward. Hmm. It's a letter from Lawrence's son. Looks like he left home. Then the two children Leonard mentions here must be... Yeah. Uncle Henry and my father. Wait, wait! 
This is a movie projector, right? What sort of movies could your great-grandfather even watch on this thing? <gasps> huh? Wow. Ashley. I just remembered something. After my great-grandfather died, my father showed me something with this. Huh? Hey. It was some old footage. It was shots of my father and Uncle Henry playing together as kids. The two of them together. By the way. Seemed like it made him sad for some reason. D. I get that. Ah, oh, that must be a painting of Leonard. The title under the painting reads, My Son, Leonard. Um... My Son, Leonard. This must be Lawrence's son. Hmm? He must have kept this painting close by so that he could always feel his son's presence. Alright. A round device made of tin slits on the table. Sits on the table. Wait, wait! What's this? Some kind of stand? <laughs> That's a zoetrope. Huh? A zoa what's it? Hey. They were invented a long time ago, bef long before I was born. The pictures inside move when it spins. How does it work? Spin the outside with your hand and look in through the slits on the side. I'll give it a try. at a fountain at the fountain there is like was it like three birds okay huh wow that's pretty cool it really looked like it was moving <laughs> Moving pictures are so much fun. I used to love this thing. I guess my inventions like this led to the creation of movies. Really? Wow, I had no idea. How do you know all this stuff? It's great. Hey. Well, I always wanted to be a filmmaker when I grew up. That was my dream. D. Oh. Sorry, D. Anything we can interact with on the table? Just that book. It won't uh. open. It won't uh. open. Just... There's a mysterious disc in the drawer. Wow. What could this be? Door and floor. Huh? Hold on, is this a trapdoor? That ladder we saw m before huh? must be under it. Huh? Ugh, it won't budge with that desk in the way. What can I do? Alright. Huh. Won't open. Huh? 
What's this rail? I mean, <sighs> we know what it's for, because the desk's going to move. <sighs> ah. I think I can rotate this. Ashley. Try moving it. Oh, um, okay, I know it relates to the zoetrope. It has to, right? Hmm. What should I do? But I'm sure there's some sort of mechanism to this. Let's go back to the zoetrope. Zoetrope on the table. like three birds and then the fountain this is is this a screen yeah yeah my great-grandfather would watch this in bed he had such a nostalgic look on his face when he did huh I wonder what he'd watch projector on the side table. Okay, can't interact with that anymore. Alright, let's interact with the disc again. Mysterious disc in the drawer. this Huh Oh so it was some sort of mechanism Hey Hey You should be able to open the door now I'm going to be honest I kind of solved that on accident and I feel kind of bad They should do it. Yes. Yeah, it's open. Oh. There's the ladder. Yeah. Let's take it down. Dad. That has got to be just past here. Did Dad really come through here? It's so dark. I can't even tell what this room is supposed to be. We can't search it until we turn the lights on. Um, is it maybe this? Lamp. The lamp is lit up red. 
How about... What's this? Hmm? Looks like the lamp's cord is connected to the floor below. Light this candle. Woo! Oh, huh. huh? A round light appeared on the brick a round when the light candle appeared was lit. On the brick when the candle was lit. Oh, you're right. It must be coming from a lamp, but where is it coming from to make it so round? Check the shade. It looks like someone made this hole on purpose. Hmm. Yeah. Yep, we probably gotta press that. There's an old typewriter on the table. Time to light this candle. Stack of documents. There's a pile of old documents in the corner of the room. Hmm. Sales contract. Were these used when selling gold? I'm just kind of looking around real quick. desk hey if you look closely this brick's a little different from the rest no way really Ashley we should check it out got it yeah wow it moved when I touched it what was that oh look Opened up. <gasps> D, you okay? I've been here before. Does that mean you know what's past here? I can't remember. Did Dad go down these steps? This place gives me the creeps. It's okay. I'm right here with you. Right. Got it. Thanks, D.